Hey everybody, it's Krista from Colorado Custom Lures and I am doing a quick tutorial on a way to do rat hair or mouse hair. Um, so lots of people have done videos on painting fur, but I wasn't quite finding the exact right thing. So um, I started out with a, this is a, a wake bait, a rat wake bait, mouse wake, wake bait. It could go either way. So I started out with a pink base uh, for the skin and then I'm just gonna layer several colors um, on top and I'm gonna start with a sepia. It, this is just a uh, Wicked Detail Sepia. Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby or online. I like to order from Coast Airbrush because they have good prices. Um, but wherever you choose to order, <clears throat> it should be easy to find. So this is just a big fan brush. I got this at Hobby Lobby, uh, Master Touch from Hobby Lobby. And um, I've already sprayed through this a little bit to create my um, whopper plopper that I was working on uh, for another customer. And um, that's just the beginning. So this is layer one, and then I'll layer various different colors, a little bit darker and a little bit lighter in just different layers until I get good coverage and it looks like fur. So you just take the uh, brush Lay it on top of your bait until you kind of spread the spread the parts of the fan brush apart a little bit on top of it, and then just spray right through the fur, right through the hairs, and they'll start to stick together, which is totally fine. You want to try not to spray past the brush, but just right into the hairs, and you'll see that you get a little bit of um, a fur-like effect right there. So you have to do this like a bazillion times, and to, and, a, and slightly different angles on that. Uh, to get a fur like appearance and uh, over time you'll see that as you start to build layers it starts to look like fur so uh, I will possibly uh, add to this or uh, post a picture on my website of this when it's finished but just a quick little uh, tutorial on that and then as you go you can mix your sepia with black to create just a little bit darker brown um, or you can add in some white and make like a light tan or even just do a few random little hairs in white here and there just to mix it all up and create a little bit of depth um, until you get coverage and then when you want to do the belly if you have these on helping hands just flip it down just like this and then just work from the bottom this won't touch the touch the uh, bottom here as long as you don't push it all the way down and then you can just work here. Your angles are gonna be a little more tricky, but you can still get at it. Um, and then if you wanted to do a rat, again, just change your colors up. Use grays and blacks and whites instead of your browns. And that's all uh, just a little tip and I hope you all found it helpful. And visit us at coloradocustomlures.com and on Facebook at uh, Colorado Custom Lures as well. Fully custom orders available and feel free to PM me with any questions you have as well. Thank you for watching.